this is interesting. Last year, um, when we have our students in year 10, which is age 14, they have to pick their choices for IT. Now, last year, we had two girls. Now, this year, we have 10. So something's going right with, with, with it, and it's an upward trend, so that's important. <laughs> I, I think what we do is we make sure we don't stereotype things. I think there's a danger at the moment where people are trying to, too, they're trying to move, too, move towards making things all pink and girly. But when you sit down and speak to the, to, to the girls in your lesson and ask them what they're interested in, They've just got interests pretty much similar to the boys, unless it's obviously football and games where you shoot things, but um, most of their other interests are similar, so you've got to make sure you pitch it at the right level. I think it's great that girls see people that they can relate to in real life that are actually coders. Like, not that it is just a male-dominated industry. Like in the UK, we did the Hour of Code, and we had a, a lovely lady called Avid who come in and launched it. And she was brilliant. She talked about her business and talked about the IT that she had to do behind that. And I think if more girls can see more role models like her, and we've got Nikki Maddams in the UK, who's done a lot of, lot of uh, work in kind of getting girls introduced into Coded Cup as well, then we go, we're going the right way there.